Hi guys, today I have the intro for Finish 7 by Spring for you. So I've always loved all those seasonal challenges because a lot of people participate in them and then you watch other people's progresses and you get motivated even more. So I've chosen 7 products and I've recently just done my Project 10 Pan video and I will have it linked down below. So I know those two projects came kind of close to each other, only not even a, a week apart. But my Project Tim Pan, I wanted to finish it within two months and then finish seven by spring ends, I think on March 20th. Um, so that gives me about like three weeks more than my Project Tim Pan. So I've put seven products that are I think a little harder to finish in my finish seven by spring just because I have about three weeks more time wise. So let's see the seven products. The first one I chose here is a liquid foundation from Naked Skin or Urban Decay Naked Skin. And I am in the shade 3.0, but I can see the product is right here. So it's about halfway. And this is a perfect shade for me in the winter. I'm not sure if I mentioned it is shade 3.0. It is perfect for me right now, and I mean, if it's perfect, then why not just finish it, right? If I don't use it until the summer, then I have to wait until next winter, then it's just going to be way too long, and I'll have to finish that first. And then the next two are lip products. The first one is a lip gloss. So I have never finished a full-size lip gloss in my life before, so this will be quite challenging, I think. This is Revlon Super Luxurious lip gloss in the color pink whisper so as you can see i marked it but it is nearly brand new like i don't think i've ever used it maybe i've swatched it i've worn it once or twice maybe um by the way all those markings are done i think two days ago that's when i picked my products but i just hadn't got the time to come around and film it yet so you might see some products with a little bit different marking than where it is now anyways so by itself the color is very light let's see if i can give you a swatch the color is very light um it's kind of a milky pinky color see it's like barely there um i don't think i like it that much one thing i don't like the applicator this is a very typical lip gloss applicator i just don't like those shapes of um, applicators at all because I don't think they pick up enough products second of all this is very sticky I don't like sticky lip glosses it's just my hair get caught I don't like that anyways I will want to try to finish that it will be quite challenging I think the third product I have here is a baby lips it is in the color melomania so this one I don't have a whole lot left that's all that I have left. It's rolled up all the way and I have it marked right here, but the marking is done on January 1st, as you can see. So I'm a little bit lower than that right now, but not by too much. You probably couldn't even really tell. Um, I think two months is reasonable time because as you can see, that was uh, December 1st, January 1st, and then what I have left right here is about two months worth of product next i chose one eyeliner from jordana this is easy liner for eyes in the color brown suede so i've mentioned this guy in my product sound to use up in 2016 video which i will link down below as well so this one is pretty much brand new i started using it i think a week ago maybe so i've used it what five seven times so far and that is my marking right now so that's where I'm at sorry so this is a nice formula for eyeliners it's not the creamiest but also it doesn't smudge everywhere so I kind of like it I've used one in the color denim blue before I think that's what's it called and I don't find it particularly hard to finish but for this color, it is quite red and quite warm of a brown. So I have to set it with a black eyeshadow usually. But I want to finish that. The next one is a Rimmel State Matte Powder. So this one is what I was talking about that the marking and 
the project now doesn't look quite the same. So I marked it two days ago and see I've already expanded the pan a little bit. But anyways, this is where I'm at now. And this actually surprised me when I start or I had it for a while, put it away, and then I thought I didn't use this much at all. And when I brought it back out this year, when I started using it, the very first day I used it, I hit pan. So it surprised me. I, I thought I barely touched it before. So I don't know what happened. I mean, this is quite a bit of powder. I think it will be challenging for me to finish up before spring. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this is in the color transparent. And also this has 14 grams of product in it, so it's not easy. The next one is an eyeshadow primer, and this is from Cargo HD. It is their perfect, picture perfect eyeshadow primer. So it is a sample size, but we all know that sample size eyeshadow primers last forever anyways. And I've marked where it is right now, so it's it's like halfway, but I think the tube gets bigger when it gets down lower here. So, I mean, it's more like I've used almost halfway. And I really don't need a whole lot of eyeshadow primers when I apply my makeup, so this will be a challenge too. The very last one I have a love-hate relationship with. I love the color. Well, let me tell you what it is first. It is a Tarte Amazonian Clay Cream Eyeshadow in the color Shimmering Taupe. And I have a baby sample size. It looks really small, but actually it has 3.4 grams of product, which is crazy because this is tiny. Anyway, um, I love it because the color is lovely. I'll give you a swatch. I love the color, and I think it really looks nice on my eyes too. But the problem is, I've been trying to pan this for a long time already. I think I started using it every day, um, somewhere starting from last summer. So it's been half a year going into my project, and right now this is how much I have left. I have less than half, definitely, because as you can see, I have like half used up this way, but also it's quite like deep inside already. It's quite shallow right here. So, I mean, I don't have a whole lot left, but I'm just really tired of it and I don't feel like using it anymore. For that same reason, I want to finish it so I never have to look at it again. So, it's kind of conflicting, but I hope it makes sense. And here's a swatch, I'm sorry. I think it's a really pretty shimmering taupe. It's kind of warm, but not too warm. So, I love that kind of brown or taupe color. Anyways, that's it. That's all the seven products I've picked for my finished seven by spring. Please let me know if you're participating in this project as well and I would love to check your videos out or if you don't make videos, I want to follow your progress anyways on Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. So um, thank you guys for watching. Bye!